Fraction Contraption, Advanced Math Through a Sound Foundation. First step is to learn how to play the game. Move all the tiles up. The goal is to move all of the tiles down. I roll a dice, I roll a five and a one. I'm gonna move down the six. I could have moved the five and the one, the four and the two. Any combination that added up to six. Roll again, I got another six. I think I'll move the four and the two down this time. Roll again, a seven, move the seven down. An 11, a eight, and a three is an 11. Roll again, I got a two. There's no way I can move a two. I am left with a six, that is my score. is that you really have to figure out the total number of parts for any problem in measurement, ratio, proportion, fractions. You have to figure out the total number of parts. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tiles. Eight will always be my bottom I'll show number. you a really cool trick here with the ruler. This is kind of the key to the whole thing. So the rules of the game are the same. I roll a fractional dice and you have to go to eights. Three eights. Then one, one I have to convert to eight. I multiply by a factor of one, eight over eight. So that gives me eight eights. So the one is eight eights plus three eights. The both in terms of eight on the bottom. Add fractions across the top. I have 11 eights. Now I just look on my ruler for two numbers that sum to 11. A seven and a four give me 11. Eight and a three. I'm going to move the seven and the four. Using the ruler, I don't even really, it's really a giant step up. Let me roll again. One half. So to go from one half to eight, I multiply it by a factor of one. Doesn't affect the value. That gives me four eights plus seven eights. Again, I have 11 eights. Look on my ruler. Two numbers that sum to 11, an eight and a three. I could add up three tiles if I needed to. Five eights and two eights is seven eights. I'll move up the five and the two. Um, six eights, right? Three quarters is six eights. One half is four eights. I add those two together to get ten eights. No two numbers sum to ten, so my score, my remaining tiles, which is going to be the 1 plus the 6, or 7 eighths. The yellow tiles here mean that they are not in eighths and they need to be converted to eighths. The next step of the game after I play is I like to loosen up these bolts, pull out the ruler, flip the tiles over to decimals and percents for two more of the key features of the seven essentials of math. And then this is really cool here. I use the ruler in the same way. And I work on my equivalencies and conversions, decimals Roll. and percents. My dice, and I have three eighths and one quarter. I have to convert to eighths every time. So I have one quarter times a factor of one, doesn't change the value. My one quarter becomes two eighths plus my three eighths. Gives me five eighths. I look on the ruler to five, and that's five eighths. 0.625 is five eighths. Could have done a four and a one, a three and a two. Anytime I use that ruler, if it sums to five, because I have eight tiles, my bottom number is always eight. Two eighths and seven eighths is nine eighths. Do the seven and the two to get nine. Six eighths and two eighths is eight eighths. Look on the ruler to eight eighths is one. Three quarters and a quarter is one. Five eighths and six eighths is eleven eighths. I look on the ruler for something that sums to eleven. Six eighths and five eighths is eleven eighths. Six and a four and a one is eleven. Six five eighths and three eighths is nine eighths. There's no nine. My score is three eighths, point three seven five, or a three. Playing with percent, same way, I could use a fractional dice. Fraction contraption.
advanced math through a sound foundation. And the ruler is a giant help. Got to learn how to use that ruler.